It's a beautiful day to be making good progress on the boat, and I am making good progress on the boat. So today's main task was to seal the cockpit hatch. So I had some of this rubber mat. This is the stuff that I use to create a little spacer underneath the fuel tanks. I didn't want moisture being trapped under the fuel tanks and causing corrosion under the bottom of the tank. They are 3 sixteenths aluminum, which is fairly thick, so that you shouldn't be corroding anytime soon, but it's a boat. Stuff corrodes on boats. So I put that under the tanks, and I had a bunch left over, and I thought that would be the perfect material for creating a gasket underneath the cockpit hatch. So that's what I've done. This is the cockpit hatch here. This is the cockpit hatch, and as you can see, I've cut strips of rubber and glued them down all the way around the edge of the hatch. This is devil's glue. This is 3M 4200 black. I've used this before and I I don't like working with it but it sure is excellent stuff. It does exactly what it's marketed to do which is to be a an adhesive sealer just absolutely sticks anything to anything which is good so I did a layer of rubber on the inside of the hatch and then I did a layer of rubber in the cockpit there's a little bit of squeeze out like that over here See there one of the corners that I can clean that up with the knife once it's cured. The next step in the process will be to create holes for the screws to go through. For the, the hatch itself, it's not a problem. There's already ho holes placed all around the top side of the hatch, so it's just a matter of taking a drill, drilling through the rubber, voila, a hole. Of course, then the problem is the hatch side can't do the same thing with the hatch, just shoving a drill bit down through it because it's got those fiberglass nuts underneath and putting a drill through those would wreck the threads and destroy the, the nut. So what I intend to do is to run a screw up from underneath and push the rubber up just enough so I can see a bump and then I'll take a, a knife and cut a little X and then you know, cut the rubber away around, around the, the, nut, the screw. And that should prove sufficient for sealing off the hatch. I'd feel fairly confident that if I got a wave in the cockpit that the drains in the cockpit would do their job and none of the water would get past the gasket. This is the point. The next thing I did was to try part four or five or whatever it is of the mast gate. That's been a problematic little project. I took it back to my uh, miracle working welder buddy who created a new hole a little bit off center. But unfortunately, it's not quite right. I have to take it back to him again and refill the hole and re drill it. It's about a half a hole, so it's about a sixteenth of an inch out, which is not much, but it's enough on a that little piece like that. So that one's not quite ready to check off the list, but almost. I also ran the sail up the mast today just for the heck of it. It's not very windy out and I thought yeah, it might be a good idea to do a test on the mainsail. So I ran that up to the top, which was fun and it looks good. It's a little bit dirty from being underneath the sail cover for a year or so. So I probably need to get some fresh water on that or maybe rain, <laughs> wash it off. But for the most part, it looks good. And I'm about to commence work on the compass. I went to the chandelier looking for an LED light to replace the incandescent light that's in the compass. They're very tiny. They're just little itty bitty guys. And of course, they didn't have anything. So I looked around on Amazon and Amazon does have LED lights, but they sell them in packs of 50. I need one. What are you going to do? Cost me $15, which isn't a 
huge big deal and I can probably use those LEDs elsewhere if I get creative and wire up something kind of cool. So I'm going to start with that and then I have painted the cabinet front for the head and that's ready to go back in and I can put the uh, electric scan controls back in. Let me show you. So this is the cabinet front. Looks like it could use another coat of paint, a little bit of sanding and just paint. But for the most part, that's what it's going to look like. The uh, controls go through those holes there. And that's just about done. So I don't know if I'll maybe put that back in place before I paint it. It's not hard to paint it in place. And it gets it out of the way. After that, I can get working on the anchor locker. Again, I've mentioned the anchor locker now a couple times. I've been thinking about it. Still not really sure what I'm going to do, what I need to do in there, but something needs to be done. But I'm getting close to it. The anchor locker isn't hugely critical. I can go sailing without the anchor locker being in place because the chain just goes down through the holes into the chain hold. But it looks kind of gross, but it's functional. I think I'm within probably a couple of days of being able to actually move my boat. I want to take it up to the marina and pressure wash it, clean it up, and then paint the bulwarks. And my mooring boy is way over there, and I need to move that too. But that's the job for another day. We'll get that one when we get to that one. In the meantime, I'm going to enjoy the sunshine.